Coin Collectors, it's DC on the Big D talking about the Kennedy 1964 half dollar, the last of the 90% silver half dollars, and the first of the 90% silver half dollars with John F. Kennedy on them. They only made these for one year. And you look at this, and if you look at this, you can see this is one of the ones that has the really kind of good hair here. It says Liberty around the top in God down, down below. Um, we trust on the other side of Kennedy's neck. Down here it says President John F. Kennedy, of course. Down here it says 1964. And right there, if we can see that. There we go. It says G and R. And that, of course, is for the engraver of these coins. And that's Gilroy Roberts, the G and the R entwined. Now, there's a story that some of these Kennedy coins have sold for over $100,000. In fact, that one sold at the Heritage, uh, at Stax Bowers auction for 156000 in August of 2019. Let's take a look at the rim here. You can see that it doesn't have any of the copper nickel cladding in it. It's a silver rim. We get to the back. We see this as United States of America, half dollar. And way down in here, we can see the engraver of the back's initials, and that is Frank Gasparro. Frank Gasparro engraved the back. Gilroy Roberts uh, engraved the front. And there was one, in fact, sold in PCGS documents this for 156000 in August of 2019. How did that happen? Well, here's the deal. You can't usually find these in the coin guides because these were called special strikes by the coin people. And special strikes were ones that were never supposed to have left the mint. Uh, PCGS has, at this point, has officially certified 12 of those that came from 1964. Um, they have been selling for between 40 and 156,000, and they are in grades from um, 69 is one as is a uh, an SP 69, and that's SP stands for special strike, or uh, that that's what it means anyway, um, and. So when you start to look for these, you're not going to find many. If you found one in a, uh, a 65 or 65 plus, you'd be starting to talk into the thousands. If you find one in a 67 or 67 plus, you're starting to talk about the high tens of thousands and possibly a hundred thousand. What else do we have on the back here? Well, we have the eagle holding an olive branch and some arrows. Eagle has a shield on its chest. And up across here, we see the 50 stars. Here we see nine stars here and four down here. There's your 13, nine plus the four. E pluribus unum here. And this is the eagle actually holding the banner in its mouth. So it go mouth or beak. And so that's how that's why this is. It's not a snake or anything. It's just the banner as it flies up through there. Um, you can see the feathers uh, and the tail feathers down here. This is a very good condition coin. This is probably worth... 10 to 15 dollars. Sometimes people see this and they say, well, it's, it's got all this stuff on it. Some of this stuff is just stuff that the coin does to itself as it gets older. We see some kind of rainbowing here. We see, um, but when we look at his neck, when we look at his face, we don't see any scratches or anything. And that, that's not just my camera. That's, it just is a very kind of clean coin. Can you get a coin like this? Yes. Um, will you have to pay $15 or $20 for it, yes. Is it worth something in silver? Yes, it's probably worth $10 or $11 just in silver value alone. Um, let's talk about the 64, and I said it was the one and only 90% silver Kennedy half dollar year, and that's because um, in 1963, President Kennedy died. They came out with the halves the next year, so they went from the Franklin half dollar coins and this is the Franklin it says Liberty to the top Ben Franklin facing to the right and God we trust here and then on the back we see the Liberty Bell uh, United States of America and there's where the mint mark is on the Franklin coin have you seen that right up there well the Franklin half uh, they stopped making it they made the Kennedy half and then they decided to go down and get rid of silver in, in the United States coins when they got rid of the silver in the United States coins 
Uh, they did it for all the coins except for the Kennedy half, which they moved to a 40% silver half. Where would the mint mark be on this one? It would be right here if there was one, but there's not. There is no mint mark on this. That means it's a Philadelphia coin. At Philadelphia, they made 277 million. At Denver, they made 156 million. All of them are worth um, probably $10 minimum because they have the amount of silver in it. But um, when you get to MS65, you're talking about 25 to $35. And then if you can somehow find one of those special mint uh, varieties, it would be worth even more. What did they do after they, after they stopped uh, making the 90%? Well, they switched over in 1965 to a 40%. And you can kind of see it. See if I tip this one on its edge? See a little bit of copper in there? So this is 40%, um, and this is the 1966. So 1965, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 70, they made 40% uh, Kennedy half dollars and you can kind of if you get the light just right you can see it but if you see the the year then you know what's the mint mark on this well that's kind of tricky because they did not put mint marks on the kennedy halves in 1965 1966 or 1967 they were trying to discourage collectors from hoarding them all right so is there a hundred and fifty thousand dollar kennedy half out there yes there is it's called a special strike half we know that there's probably at least 12, maybe more, um, and they wouldn't look that much different than this, uh, except that they would be, uh, because the special strike halves are not polished like you'd normally get from a mint coin. All right, that's all we have today from Big D Coins. This is DC Sand. Please subscribe to the Big D Coin channel. Leave any comments you might have in the comments section.